Finally got a light bulb. Mm. It's a me, Romario, and uh, well, here I am once again. This time, I'm supposed to be talking about FAM. Uh, why do I gotta talk about FAM again? Oh, right, that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I, you know, I wanted to talk to you guys in front of the camera instead of, like, doing a twit longer, but the problem is, you know, not the best lighting, as you could see. At least there's a light. And please, not only excuse the lighting, but also excuse the uh, potential noise in the background, because some cars are coming by us in Malta. We have cars. Thank you very much, all right? Well, let's just cut right to the chase. Uh, in FAM, there hasn't been that much communication regarding the status of said movement. Uh, and uh, that's because a lot of things have happened. And, you know, it resulted in FAM having to be delayed. There's only one person to blame in all this. Uh, and that one person is... <gasps> me. Yeah, that's... Uh... My bad. And I'll explain why, actually. I'll explain. You see, I was so excited to bring back FAM, I kind of made three big problems. Actually, three huge problems as soon as I uh, brought it back. So allow me to name them for you. Hey, Dixie. Uber, it's all my fault, eh? Yeah, that's right. Get that. Ah, she's ashamed of me. Number one. Well, the first problem kind of goes back to me being so excited to bring back FAM that when I opened the blood gates, I pretty much let anybody who I thought had any ounce of experience in editing, recording, etc. into the fold. And unfortunately, because of that, I let some bad apples in and it kind of... It sort of did ruin it for us a bit. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know, without me vetting them, I... Yeah. Number one. My second mistake was actually not having a well-oiled machine, both uh, in leadership and just overall, overall, you know? Now, don't get me wrong, wait, wait, wait. Most of the FAM new guys are freaking fantastic individually. However, because, you know, I gave the roles of leadership to some people who did not have the right resources to be leaders, uh, things kind of did not go well. You know, not afraid to admit that. It, 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 that's what happened. But I'm going to be honest, I put too much faith in the wrong people. And it messed a lot of things up. It did. And the third mistake, which is kind of obvious, is that, you know, we weren't ready to come back just yet and announcing that we were going to come back before we were even ready. Yeah, look, listen, the problem... Well, not just one problem. I had so much optimism of us coming back and doing all these projects, so I made all the announcement, thinking that we actually had the right people with the right resources, with the right leadership. And it just didn't happen. Again, again, my fault. I know, I know. So, to cut down to the chase, basically we spent the entire year just troubleshooting and uh, the result is... <sighs> it just did not work. Sorry, Todd. As a result, we have parted ways with the higher-ups of the new FAM and... I just did what I should have done when I brought back FAM to begin with and that is to bring back the old band. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> What does that mean? I'll tell you, don't worry, hold on. Let me get a seat. Uh, and I'll explain to you all. Okay, this is so much better. Holy smokes, it's getting hot. I had to turn off the lights because it's getting too freaking hot. Uh, so, what does this mean? Well, for starters, uh, you know, we got back Cameron Bash and Stigma. Yes, even that freaking emo. Yes, I know. Uh, we got them back to be the production leaders of... FAM again! And, uh, you know, so, remember, you know, the quality that FAM used to have from 2015 all the way to 2018? Yeah, that's coming back, so, uh, kind of a big deal. <laughs> oh, but it's not just them, too. Uh, we are also bringing back uh, some other FAM veterans to help us out, but, uh, that's, uh, spoiler territory, so... Hey, speaking of spoilers, how is all this going to affect the show, Rom? Uh, well... A lot, actually, um, to be honest. As a result of what happened, we had to scrap 80% of the work we already did for Requiem. And we had to start rewriting, re-recording, just redoing everything. So, yeah, you know, nearly uh, a whole year worth of production, all gone. No 
problemato. But hey, don't worry, don't worry. That just means we are going to have a much grander pay-per-view event. And not only that, listen, there's also going to be, you know, because of this, some row twos and actually a major event coming this summer before. So keep a lookout for that. I'll announce it in this video. Just keep watching. Wow, Rom, row twos, Requiem, and another FAM event. Man, you, you're, you're doing great. What's the bad news? Well, I've been, you know, trying to cushion your chins up before I deliver this uppercut, so I hope you're ready. Here it comes! Requiem will be coming out in September. <laughs> you guys okay? Calm down? Just a little bit? No? Okay. Yeah, look, I really can't blame you for, uh... Feeling that one out, it, it is a bitter pill to swallow. Heck, this thing's for me too, you know? I... This thing's for me a lot, actually. Shit. I will say, look, I'm sorry for, again, making all those announcements of FM coming back in... Friggin' 2020, out of all years, right? And yeah, just making, you know, Requiem coming soon, etc. Well, actually, it was gonna come soon, but... You know. What I will say, once more, though, is that when Requiem does come... Oh, it's going to be grand, and when 2K22 comes out, <laughs> it will indeed hit different, alright? Because FAM will feel like old times again with the stuff we have planned, and the returns that are coming, the chef will be proud. <laughs> In July, we will be having a huge show. Yeah, that's the one I was hinting about before, you know? It'll be the Movement Super Show! Which, get this, will consist of JM Uprise Episode 3 and FAM Episode 2. That's right, two major shows in one mega stream. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be crazy. And make sure you stay tuned to this channel because on June 28th, we will be releasing a trailer for this big boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's gonna be on the trailer, Wob? I'll tell you, you know, besides, you know, some few hints and teasers. Also, the bloody release date of the damn thing. So, yeah, keep a lookout. So what, you gotta wait till June 28 to have anything? No, no, as a matter of fact, not only will we be making movement community days, but, you know, there is this show called JM, you know, run by Cameron Bash, you know, one of the guys that kind of made FAM a big deal back from 2015 to 2018, you know. That's in an alternate universe to FAM, featuring guys like Stigma, Cameron Bash, and the Battle, AC Arters, and, you know, Schmack Talks. No big deal, right? Well, if that sounds good to you, you better check out JM Redemption, which is coming to you on June 26th on twitch.tv forward slash Broken Fun Bash. And it's gonna be live at 11 p.m. UK, 6 p.m. EST, and it's going to be a freaking doozy! Listen, all I gotta say to wrap this up in all seriousness. Thank you so much for all the guys who are constantly just waiting for us to put FAM out there. And you've stuck through us through thick and thin, man. Through thick and thin. Look, we've been through so many arcs, right? Where FAM lays dormant for one year, <laughs> even two years. And once we release a show, it's like none of you left. As a matter of fact, more of you keep coming in. Dude, I feel it, it's it's the reason why I brought FAM back a year ago, man. Because you guys wanted to see us tell our story, and you know what? I want to tell it too. So, thank you for staying with us, man. And now, thanks to this new way of, well, old way, we are able now to continue the story known as Forever A Movement. Thank you guys so much for your patience, and we will see you all in a couple of weeks. On Saturday, June 26th, the backlash from Unleashed will commence as new champions clash. Scores will be settled and mysteries will be unraveled. The new and first JAM Lionheart Champion 
will go one on one in our main event against the new and first JAM Mercury champion, D'Angelo. Blake Blackheart looks to continue his reign of successful championship defenses as he defends his JAM Twitch Championship against the in ring sensation, Smack Talks. Aligned with a new friend that we know very little about, the Pharaoh, Israel, joined by his newfound prophet, will go one on one with the lone wolf, your boy, G8. And finally, in an unleashed rematch, the one and only Stigma will look to even the odds as he goes one on one with the vengeful spirit, Morningstar. All this ferocious action. It can only mean one thing. It's the most electrifying show to hit Saturday nights. The one with the wild side that's not afraid to be different. J.A.M. Redemption, episode five. Coming to you live on Saturday, June 26th at 11 p.m. UK slash 6 p.m. Eastern. Only on twitch.tv forward slash broken fun bash. The replay for this event will then be streamed live to youtube.com forward slash The Movement X two hours later at 1 a.m. UK forward slash 8 p.m. Eastern. With this episode gearing up to be our best yet, you surely don't want to miss out. We'll see you all on June 26th.